now we are back on ekun soch ki tea talk train of and thought the series of an episode with dr chris disuza one of an eminent ent surgeon based in mumbai and traveling world over who have written 50 books and 40 medical uh, journals across the world we have seen his journey a couple of years during the tough time during pandemic uh, the way he had given back to our society like a warrior he was in front but again having a kind heart to serve the humanity at large now in this episode to give it back to an tea talk audience about the important organs as for the body which is concerned about an ear uh, sir now what are the common symptoms as far as a uh, ear disease which is concerned the ear is divided into three parts the external ear the middle ear and the inner ear mm-hmm. so depending on which part of the ear is involved those are the symptoms a common symptom that occurs in the external canal will be pain mm-hmm. and will be discharge Mm-hmm. I tell everybody that there are five reasons mm-hmm. why you should never instrument your own ear. Mm-hmm. First is you don't know the depth at which your eardrum is situated, mm-hmm. so you may land up puncturing the eardrum or injuring it. Mm-hmm. The second thing is that you whatever is coming out from the ear, you're going to push it back inside. Mm-hmm. The third is that the cotton, the uh, the cotton or the mats you can break. and remain inside your ear and you will not realize it and then it will lead to an infection mm-hmm. the the fourth is that you can transmit an infection like fungus and things like that mm-hmm. the fifth one is that the ear bone is plugged into the brain mm-hmm. there's a thin shelf of bone separating the brain from the canal mm-hmm. there are tiny blood vessels that come to the brain and if you are unlucky enough you can injure that and then send an infection to the brain This is known as skull-based osteomyelitis. Mm-hmm. And people will say, "Well, how do I clean my own ear?" Mm-hmm. My answer to that is that the external canal is the only cul-de-sac or dead end lined by skin in the whole human body. Mm-hmm. So, just as a conveyor belt at the airport takes your luggage out mm-hmm. from the plane, mm-hmm. so is all the wax removed from the ear by this self-cleaning mechanism, which is God-given. Mm-hmm. Now, if you interfere with that, you will get problems, okay. and all the wax will back up. Mm-hmm. Then people will say, "But doctor, you know, I get a lot of dirt inside my ear. It is not dirt; mm-hmm. it is wax. Wax is a normal, necessary, and essential secretion in the ear. Mm-hmm. It is created by glands inside the ear. Mm-hmm. It is not found in any other part of the body. Mm-hmm. Now, what is the function of wax? The function of wax is to waterproof your ear." Mm-hmm. so that you know nothing sticks to it the second is that it creates an environment where germs and fungus cannot grow mm-hmm. so it is absolutely a normal necessary and essential secretion mm-hmm. so if you respect that you will protect your ears the ears have the self cleaning mechanism mm-hmm. when the wax is just formed it is a yellow um uh secretion mm-hmm. and as it moves out it gets oxidized and turns black mm-hmm. so that is the function of wax and of the external ear mm-hmm. the external ear is 3.75 cm long mm-hmm. it functions on the principle of a vibrating reed mm-hmm. that's how you get sound what happens when sound travels best through a solid a liquid and then a gas so when sound travels through the air it changes medium when it reaches the eardrum mm-hmm. so there is loss of energy so the way the eardrum is configured it is 55 times the size of the oval window so that energy gets gained and there it compensates mm-hmm. so these are very important the second thing is that the external canal is against gravity mm-hmm. so when you are having water or when you are having a bath water will not go into your ear mm-hmm. unless you tilt your head mm-hmm. the second thing is that in front over here is something called the tragus mm-hmm. which acts as a baffle arrangement mm-hmm. so that means it acts as a door which prevents anything from coming inside the ear mm-hmm. so there are two protective mechanism which have been given to you by god mm-hmm. one is your external canal against gravity mm-hmm. it is s shaped mm-hmm. and it has a tragus which will prevent anything from going inside mm-hmm. it a middle ear infection will be with again with pain Of course, there'll be a, he- a hearing problem, and usually discharge, mm-hmm. a pure and foul smelling discharge. Mm-hmm. The symptoms that are pathognomonic of an inner ear are vertigo, mm-hmm. hearing loss, 
and a humming sound in the ear. Mm-hmm. Sometimes even the face can get paralyzed. Oh. So these are the hallmarks of problems depending on which part of the ear is affected. Mm-hmm. So I said uh, this is an important organ god gifted don't play with it is a natural uh, thing which is there keep it as a natural because the external part what sir had explained i think uh, whatever is there like try and uh, clear in the external part of your ear like uh, so what are the types of an hearing loss uh, which are there there are fundamentally three kinds of hearing loss one what we call conductive conductive means that the sound cannot be transmitted to the inner ear because of either wax inside the ear maybe a hole in the eardrum or there may be a problem with three of the bones of the ear which are responsible for the conduction of mm-hmm. sound mm-hmm. sensory neural means the nerve is affected and cannot transmit the sound to the brain because of damage to the nerve mm-hmm. or sometimes it can be a combination of sensory neural and conductive mm-hmm. so only a hearing test will able will allow us to see the levels of hearing whether what kind of a hearing problem and the extent of the problem okay and uh, sir can the ear problem affect the brain like yes it is well known that uh, ear problems can go into the brain and can cause a problem because of this because the um, the brain is intimately associated with the ear mm-hmm. so it can definitely lead to ear infection as a matter of fact much of history they say that the king louis of france he had a ear infection which led to a brain abscess and he died so there uh, he was thought to be a good ruler so there were so many historians postulated suppose he had to live he possibly could have been one of france's greatest rulers mm-hmm. instead when he passed away the next king was not a very good king and that led to a lot of problems inside france mm-hmm. so that's how pivotal a role mm-hmm. ear problems can play as far as your brain is concerned and even history okay uh, now which ear is connected uh, to brain like everything the um, the inner ear the hearing nerve comes directly from the brain into the cochlea mm-hmm. and also goes into the ba- uh, the organ for balance mm-hmm. in addition the nerve that is responsible for movements of your face mm-hmm. come from the brain pass through the ear and then go into the muscles of your face no. so the um, in essence two nerves but many nerves are also located on the bone the hearing bone as well mm-hmm. like the fifth nerve and so on so mm-hmm. so the ear is one very critical organ okay and so what is the for tita audience what is the solution to an ear problem what they should uh, take uh, precaution like i would strongly recommend that people do not clean their own ears i will narrate that i got an award from the uk for the hamilton bailey award because i treated 22 patients who got tetanus because of cleaning their ears and i managed to save the lives of all 22 children mm-hmm. and we found that tetanus is a is a germ that grows only in carbon dioxide mm-hmm. so there was a doctor in uh, vietnam mm-hmm. who said you do radical surgery and the cause of the disease will be less severe mm-hmm. we found by spike simple cleaning of all the pus from the ear mm-hmm. that the cause of the disease was shorter mm-hmm. the severity of the disease was mild mm-hmm. so because we did that we gave them guidelines mm-hmm. and we saved 22 lives and hopefully mm-hmm. those people who follow our guidelines mm-hmm. will continue to save lives of people who get tetanus because of cleaning mm-hmm. their own ears Okay, so it's an excellent episode what we had with Dr. Chris D'Souza. Uh, in this relevant episode, the highlights were given of an important organ as far as the ear, which is concerned. Don't play with it; it's a god's gift. So I think the curing factor should be in a natural way. And sir, uh, the way you have gone ahead with your practice and putting in a book form, I'm sure this will help a lot many practitioners like who are going to be a part of this particular professional. Uh, to get more insights as far as the medicines which are concerned thank you very much for being part of a uh, tea talk a bun so it's key for next episode with dr chris disuza i'm sure it's very interesting journey uh, because it's a, over a period of so many years and with the passion with the commitment with the dedication and with uh, 
keeping the central focus the humanity serving giving it back to a society in a meaningful way that's what uh, dr chris uh, dr chris this is a is on t talk a bone search his exclusive story so keep in uh, tune to t talk uh, or his further episode with dr chris thank you very much thank you